As a Swiss dreamer, I will respect myself, affirm others, and encourage my fellow brother. Avoid physical and emotional attacks, negative peer pressure, self-destructive behavior, including abuse of alcohol and drugs. I will not make excuses because I know excuses are tools of the week. I will always maintain the highest level of respect for my family, my team, and my community, in and outside of such journeys. I will serve my community, for community is the greatest resource and the source of my strength. I will nurture it, build it, and take care of it. I will hold education to the highest esteem. Because I know that education is the only way to better my circumstances and increase my personal wealth. I will carry myself with the highest level of integrity, academic excellence, and moral character. I am a doctor. A lawyer. A dentist. An entrepreneur. A professional athlete. did not have cheer experience, so they came not knowing how to do forward rolls or handstands and not even knowing the basic motions. But actually at the beginning of the very second week, we had girls that had already mastered those two skills, forward rolls, handstands, as well as knowing all the motions and even about five cheers. They were great. team has the best chance of winning. I selected a, a, a real good group of kids and a real talented group of kids. I selected a really big uh, really big team. I believe I have a lot of mismatches so I, I think I have the advantage in the championship game. A lot of the kids are very cooperative this year. They're listening to us. Uh, they're doing everything they that we tell them to. They're trying to learn. They're trying to get better every day. 
Because I have some players who play together. Uh, so definitely, I think my team has a good shot at winning it. I got the best, uh, the best picks in it, the best, the best overall team. It's just a matter of getting them to play and, and getting them to play within my system. For the kids to be this young, I think it's a very, very uh, competitive group and very talented group that I've seen in a long time. you are performing well in the classroom so this kind of begins to make that connection with them that the two go together that success in one leads to success in the other um, and just also it's good for over the summertime because sometimes kids lose skills in the breaks that they have over the summer so in this case they're also getting that remediation getting that extra help that they may not have been able to get in a classroom during the school year but once we get into it um, I use the, the statistics we have to take their own stats and uh, they calculate their own percentages, like field goal percentage, field, uh, free throw percentage, uh, things of that nature. We talk about things like um, turnover, the assist ratio. So we do a lot with percents and reading graphs and uh, displaying graphs. And we spent like the last three weeks actually just going through centralizing statistics, means and mediums, and using um, a lot of sports stats, not just basketball, but we changed many basketball stats, but sports stats, period. Um, so it's been a pretty fun experience, a new experience for the kids to see how we connect what they like to do outside the classroom with what we have to teach them, what they need to learn inside the classroom. Big game, I think we'll be in it, Orange team. We're pretty dominant right now, so we'll see how it plans out. Really excited about the big game because this year we're doing a lot of different things um, than last year. We're doing like a, a lot of dances, modern dances, hip hop dances, and stuff like that. Come on, young man. Stay humble. 
make sure you get them shots and make sure you take shots so you all can win. But at the same time, everybody has to have fun playing. Okay. Just being a leader.